Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. In today's video, I'm going to explain to you how to draw a gear or a cog using the polygon tool. So let's zoom in here kind of on the center of the page. Grab your polygon tool, holding down the control button, the control key so you get a symmetrical one. Let's go right up here and change the to 22. Press P on the keyboard and put it in the center of the page. Now this is what's pretty amazing about this tool. Now let's grab a box and we'll make it 0.6 just so it's easily remembered. Uh, press P on the keyboard. Holding down this, this shift key Grab both of them, hit T like in Tom. And the only reason I did that is so you get closer. Now, holding down the control key and just moving this up. Now, this is where it kind of gets interesting. Grab your shape tool, click on your polygon, and get near that line and just double click. Get near that line and double click. See, I got the, I opened the box. So now I've got the nodes on the polygon. I've got snap to object selected. I'm going to double click on that line and get another node. And now we can get rid of our box and look what's happened. It's drawn that same box on all the polygons. Now, what is nice about this, you could change this to 16. Look at the difference. Let's change it to 24. Eight. Look at the difference. It changes them automatically and you don't have to redraw anything. We're going to put it back to 22. Let's zoom in here a little bit. We are going to draw a circle, pressing P and put it in the center of the page. We're going to take the rectangle tool and there's many ways to do this. I'm going to hit P and put it in the center of the page just for preference, holding down the control key and moving it upward. Now we can take and go to a range and convert it to a curve. Select all the nodes and convert them to curves. And this is where you'll find out if you have any artistic ability or not, which I really don't have any. And just kind of play with that. We could bring this down. Now the bottom, the top one doesn't really matter right now. And I'm going to show you why. That doesn't look terrible. Now, grab your circle, control D, make a duplicate, and holding down your shift key, it makes it grow from the center. Control D, holding down your shift key, and growing it outward, just staying inside that. Now, there's a way to weld this, but since it's three different parts, it's kind of, you could, you could do this a lot faster than welding. So now we have a part, but it's different pieces. So we let's go outside the box or outside the Pentagon to grab all that and hit the weld key. That's welded. Now, the one reason I use the Smart Field tool is just for that very reason. I could have filled that in Move that over, deleted this, and put that back, and then left click, right click. But I thought I would show the weld tool tonight on that. And you see, you've got the arc of the inner circle. Grab that deal, that shape, control D and make a duplicate. Click again on the center, and then move the rotation to the center. It does not look like it's in the center, so click off and double click. Sometimes when you double click, and you're not on that X, it gets the shape tool. But you are in the center. Let's rotate it 60 degrees. Control D again, and rotate it 120 degrees. Then you should be good to go. That's probably a little close to the center, but for the video, that's good. And there is you a decorative uh, cog or gear. And, you know, if you had to draw something where you were 
showing something off and making it look like a, a gear. Now just keep in mind that these are two different facets. You've got the smart fill tool. So you can move that right in there and make it look like a working set of gears. Anything for a logo or whatever. It wouldn't, it's not a working model. It wouldn't, it wouldn't turn very good. Well, it actually would, but it would slip a lot. Anyway, so that's using the polygon tool to make a gear or a cog. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.